I like writing implements, and amongst my collection, I've got a lot of ballpoint pens, or biro as we call them. Yeah, I've got not so many, but still quite an interesting pencils, and here's an example of one. It's actually a twig of wood. These only came out about 20 years ago. Someone thought of the idea of taking a twig of wood, boring a hole into it, inserting a lead from there, probably up, <clears throat> to, up to there, and then using it. And you can sharpen it and use it in a normal way. You only get as far as there, and then you run out of lead, probably. But that's a very nicely constructed, can you see the actual tip of the thing? It's a perfectly good working pencil. And it's also a trick of wood, quite clearly. It hasn't been manufactured like that. So what a nice idea that is. I like that. It's recycling bits of debris from, from, from trees to be thrown away. Another quirky idea is to bend it. I'm not you know, sure how they do it. I think it's something to do with steaming the wood or something. But it's quite a sweet idea, this one, because it's like a ring. It goes on the finger like that. So whereas most people, especially people outdoors who need to keep scribbling and writing things down, have a pencil behind the ear, don't they? This one, you keep it on your ring, take it off, and then write something in, put it back on, on, the, on, the, on the finger ring again as well. So it's a, it's a sweet little idea. And it's got a rubber at the end as well. So it's, it's or an eraser, they call it. So it's you know it's it's a proper functioning pencil this one appears to be a pencil Royal academy of arts this one is actually it's an institution in, in london and it's uh it's well it's a, it's a green pencil green crayon is it well no it's not actually when you push that like that it's got a spring into it and out comes a ballpoint pen i'm afraid and which retracts and comes out and retracts and retracts so it's not a pencil so it's a, it's a make-believe but there was plenty of those Another very curious one is this one here, which has got uh, an auctioneer's hammer on it. Bang, bang, bang. And that's the actual eraser both ways. Don't know what this means quite. Moscow auction. Even more mysterious, it's a kind of promotion, I think, for a board game, which I don't think I've ever heard of. This is a very old thing from 30 years ago, so I wouldn't think that much of those... Um, contacts are, are viable anymore it's it's a uh, it's a pencil and it's uh, something like a knock on the head for the people as well it's sweet isn't it and the last set is actually a little bunch of charming pencils for about 1980 case 1988 case for music players these are all pencils incidentally there we are there's the ball points there's the, the lead at the end but every one of these actually animates so let's have a go. Let's let's which one should we do first? Let's do the drummer. Should we have a go? Well, these all animate, which is such a lovely idea. Let's bring it up the camera and see if I can get this to actually animate. Which is there? About there. No, I need to put my hand behind it. No, no, no. And now when I turn this, it's just about in focus. So just about there. And now he's, there we are, his hands are going bomb, bomb, bomb on the drum. So very sweet. That's good. Here's the one who's the guitarist, of course. Let's get him in focus if I can. Ooh. And now can I turn this with my fingers? Yes, just about, just about. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a fairly rudimentary movement there, you know, but it's, it's very sweet. The back of the thing is that all these that things there is just wiggling around like that. That's what's happening in the back. And here's the uh, the pianist. He's having a bit of a bash. There we are, those piano keys down there. Piano keys, okay. And then we... Oops, Jesse. Mm. Uh, sort of, yeah. Woo, there he is. And you can't see it very well. There is actually pressing down. Clear. All this is is a little little kink in the in the plastic rod at the back to make the action. So the last one has to be, of course, the lead guy, <coughs> the guy, the vocalist, and he's got a microphone. There we are. He's got a mic. He hardly touches the mic, but there we are. He he certainly moves around quite a lot, actually, 
because the little rod that's <coughs> doing the turning is going through his head, so it's really making a lot of movement there. So that makes a very nice little bunch of four musicians, well, and a vocalist, four musicians, one of them is a vocalist, all pencils, and very cheerful ones too, nice ones. So that's a very nice item. It's just a pity, I, as you see, I've never, <coughs> never used them because they've got um, unsharpened edges, so perhaps I'd better start using them and playing with them and playing them, do you think? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.